Hello, this is Steve Ernst with Fargo Rate. And as you may have noticed, we uh, finally released our player app, but we apparently didn't do a very good job of helping users get signed up here. Um, we're, we're seeing uh, lots of issues with that. So I'm creating this little video so it can help you as you're, as you're going through that, that sign up process. And I'm also going to cover uh, a whole bunch of features in, in the app so you can um, find some things or find ways to do some things that you may not even know you could do. Okay, thanks for listening and let's get started. All right, first things first. So regardless if you are using an iPhone or an Android phone, you want to make sure that you have the most current version of the Fargo Rate app. And you can do that by just going out to your app store, searching for Fargo Rate, just like you did when you installed it. And if there's an update button there, make sure you click on that to, to apply that update. We, we have released one uh, fix for some of these login related issues and we wanna make sure that, that you have that. All right, so now we're sure that we have the most current version, the most updated version of our app on our device. And on the screen here, I have the iPhone version. The Android works the same way. And the first thing that you have to do is create your account. And this is really important because almost all of you out there have existing uh, player records in Fargo Rate. So you have matches that have been played, you have a current rating, and we want to make sure that you get attached to that record. So I'm gonna show you a way to do that to virtually guarantee that you're attached to the right record. First step in the process is to go to the sign up button. You, know, you wanna tap that down at the bottom. Then uh, we're gonna go, it, it asks us if we know our membership number and we are going to choose yes. And I have it in front of me, but you may not have it in front of you, but I'm gonna show you how to find it. So when I show you how to find it, you're gonna type that number in here you're going to put in your email address and whatever you want for a password and then create your account. So let's look at how you can find your membership number. The easiest way to look up your membership number is our old site here, which is fairmatch.fargorate.com, as you can see in the URL bar here. And when you, if you've been out here before, it may just log you right in. Um, if not, you can create an account if you would like to, uh, but this uh, screen will have changed by the time this video comes out. And right above the sign in button is a new button that, that um, allows you to search directly for players without having to create an account. So you can look up your ID without having to worry about emails and passwords and things like that. Okay, so when you, when you click that search button, whether you've logged in or have used the new search button that's on the login screen, you will just type your name in, and let's say that I am Henry Frank, and there is my ID. It's this long number right here. So you wanna either write that down or copy and paste it. Um, one way or the other, and you put that into the app, right, right where I showed you, in the membership number. Put in your email, put in your password, and it will create the account for you. It's going to send you an email to whatever email address you put in, and that's, this is a really important step. You want to go in there and click that Confirm My Account button, because that's, that's actually what does all the work and gets everything hooked up. If you do not see a number here. If you search for your name and you do not see a number beside your name, please contact us. Uh, that means that one hasn't been generated for you. There's very few of you out there that do not have a number, but there are some. So if you're one of those, please contact us at support at fargorate.com. And that's a good email address to remember because that's, that's where we handle all of our, all of our um, issues that we have with our, our, our different um, applications. So if you do not have a number, support at fargorate.com and we will immediately get one created for you and get you going. All right, once you've gotten the email, you've clicked confirm my account. We will go back to the sign in screen. We're gonna put our number in. 
and put our password in. And this is a this is pretty much a one-time thing. Once you log in, it remembers who you are, and you won't have to do this every time it starts up. So we'll go ahead and sign in. And there we are. So I'm signed in as John Smith. I can see my robustness and my rating, and I can also see I'm running the free version of, of the mobile app. So the, the free version basically does everything that the Fairmat site was able to do previously. I can uh, look at my player card, so I can see all that information um, with a scannable barcode for those tournaments that, um, for example, like CSI tournaments that um, they could scan that barcode in. I can search for players by name. So let's search for Henry Frank again. I can type that in and get Henry Franks. So I can favorite Henry and go to the favorite screen. And I actually have two favorites in here. Uh, let's see. Then uh, events. I can see upcoming events and, and this is a curated list that we add to all the time. Uh, we have two in there right now, but there's a bunch more coming. And the settings tab. So um, I can upgrade to get the advanced features, um, contact us, things like that. All right, so we're signed in, showed you some of the, the features that are available in the, the free version of the app. From here on out, I'm going to switch over to the advanced version so we get we get all the, the bells and whistles. And you can do that yourself if, if you desire by clicking the Learn More button and upgrading your subscription here. If you are a sanctioned league member with one of the leagues that we support, uh, currently that's the CSI League, so BCAPL and USAPL, uh, then you get all these advanced features for free. If you've created, if you're one of those players, you've created the app, or I'm sorry, you've installed the app uh, and you're not seeing those features, again, support at FargoRate.com and we'll get them turned on for you. Okay, so uh, I'm going to log out here and log back in with the full features on. All right, I didn't drag you through the, the logging in there. So uh, I basically have upgraded John Smith's account here so that he has full access to the app. All, all the features are here now. So the first thing is, is quite obvious right away is so John has 146 games and all of them are in his list here. So every game that Fargo Rate has for John Smith is in this list. So I could scroll through it and I could see them all. Um, so that's this recent tab. Then there's also an upcoming tab. If you're a member of a league that uses the Fargo Rate League Management System or LMS, those league matches for you will show up right here. John isn't a member of a league, so he doesn't have any of those. Uh, if there was one here, you can click on it. You could see the team rosters for the two teams that are competing, uh, things like that. So from any any place that you see a match like this, so John versus Frank, you can see it here, you can see it on favorite screen, you can see it in searches. Um, if you tap that, it will show you the lifetime against the lifetime record against that player. So John is seven and five against Frank. Uh, if we go to Ryan Jackson, he's seven and two. They've played two uh, two different matches. So that's the, the player versus player history. Uh, if you go to favorites, like I said, you can do the same thing from here and view those. But the most noticeable and significant uh, uh, features that come with purchasing the upgrade are the advanced search features. So I can come into here and I can still search for a player by, by name if I wanted to. Uh, but I can also do a lot more than that now. There are two new buttons here. There's uh, this table button and this uh, sorting button here. So if I click that table button, I can do all kinds of things. I can search uh, first names and last names. I can look for all players in a given city. I can look for players in a given state. So let's do that. 
let's say Fargo's in North Dakota. So we're gonna do North Dakota. And I can choose whether I want to include unestablished players or not. I'm gonna leave them off for this example. Uh, hit search. And there we go. Now these are sorted by default alphabetically by first name, but if I want to find the best shooters in North Dakota, I'm going to sort by rating. And now I will see Rory Hendrickson, Tyler Perry. So I basically have just built my top players in North Dakota list, and I can just kind of keep scrolling down here. And if I get far enough down, I will find myself somewhere. I am definitely not in the top 50. Um, so anyway, you can you can now build like your own top list uh, for your state or your your city, your country, what whatever what have you. Um, and then you could do even more. Let's say that we're playing league one night, and I need to find someone to sub on our team and we, we use Fargo rating caps for our team, so I need someone, in order to fit on our team, has to be less than a 563. So do that same search, but this time just people in Fargo, and I want the best player I can get, so we're gonna sort by rating, and there we go. So these are uh, the players that would fit on my, my league team. So that's another really useful feature. So there are a bunch of different sorting options. Uh, if you are sorting by or filtering by state, you may want to filter by city and then rating or what, what, whatever you want to do. Okay, so that's the new search features. Very, very handy. Now, uh, one thing that you could do in fair match is, and that's very useful to use Fargo ratings for, is to find a fair race. You want to you want to match up against someone, and you want to know what a fair race is going to be. So we know that um, based on looking at um, the way people are using uh, fair match, that a lot of times it is Steve, me, wanting to find a fair race against some other player. So I can tap the fair race button here. And if I know the player's ratings, I can go type it in, like five, 10, um, and whatever. But there's actually an easier way to do that. So I'm gonna go back to the search screen. And let's say I wanna find a fair race between me and say Mike Volness here. The easiest way to do that is this little person button up here. And it's going to add, so I'm logged in as John Smith here. So it's gonna add John Smith's row up here. And this is the tricky part. All you do is hold in, like tap and hold in Mike until it, see how it kind of grays out and gets smaller? And now his record will show up there. Now if we do find race, it fills in our ratings for us. So we can do a calculate here and see uh, hot race would be eight to 11. We can go to the odds and calculate this. And this is all swipeable too, so you can swipe back and forth. Um, and then we can also look at the Fargo rate race charts. Um, if you're in a tournament that's, say, doing R7 charts and it's uh, medium, then the race would be uh, six to seven. So that remember that long press. Then you can dismiss these and say that I wanted to find a fair race between Mike and Bob Flanders. So hold in Mike, hold in Bob, and there you go. Now we hit our find race button and it's populated, ready to go. Okay, uh, one other feature that I wanna show you before I sign off here is on the settings tab, there is a submit error report. If you find an error in your data, then maybe a duplicate match or duplicate um, player records for yourself, uh, you can uh, very quickly come into here and say this is a player issue and there are two records for me and then tell us how it should be. There should only be one. The North Dakota one is correct. Uh, something like that and then go ahead and submit that and we will get it and we will get it taken care of. 
another thing I want to show you is this option right here. We've, we've, uh, during our beta testing of this app, um, a lot of people, rather than starting the app, when you start it up, it goes to this home screen. They search for players a lot. So they want to go to start it from the search screen. That's what this setting does is allow you to, um, the next time you start the app, it'll start at the search screen instead of the, the home screen, if you like that. Okay, I know this was quick, but uh, that is a rundown of the, the features that we currently have. We have a lot more planned, um, so we hope that you uh, download the app. Um, let us know if you have any problems. Again, support at FargoRate.com. Okay, again, Steve Ernst at FargoRate. Have a good day.